What is going on YouTube? Ty back again with another video. In today's video, I'm answering the question, how do you build a sports and nutrition blog? Now, I've seen this question, but someone asked me this question, and uh, it's quite tricky. Now, I'm writing a blog post about this as well. I'm not finished the blog post, but I'm going to read um, some of the stuff on my blog post and answer the question. Um, first of all, you need a blog. If you don't have a hosting company, you need a hosting company. A hosting company is just like an internet company. Internet company comes out and they put it in your house and you go online. Well, a hosting company is the same thing. They can they put your blog on the internet. It's online all day long. Okay. The first thing you need is a, blog, a hosting company. The second thing you would need to do is determine, you know, sports and nutrition. It's kind of hard because nutrition is more the medical side and sports is sports. Um, you could do both, but for, for the sports part, we are talking about current events in basketball, football, hockey, and baseball. Is it is it current sports and you gonna report on the current sports? That's very hard. You got to be engaged all the time and report everything. Or are you going to be a blog where you're going to teach nutrition and teach sports health? Like you teach nutrition to help better you in sports. And if you want to play a certain sport, what kind of nutrition do you need? Now, I think that would be very unique if you go that route. If you're going to write of uh, taking a sports blog and talk about nutrition. So say someone want to be a basketball player. What type of diet do you need to be a basketball player on? What kind of diet do you need to lose weight? What kind of nutrition you need to gain weight or, or to lose weight, gain weight? Or let's say you have a torn ACL. What kind of nutrition should you be eating to help recover faster? Those type of things you can you can do in a sports blog. Now, I hope that you are a medical professional and I hope that you're very knowledgeable about the subject because, you know, these days you got to be very, very transparent. You can't give out fake information. You can't be, you have to be some kind of authority uh, on the topic. So you talk about nutrition and sports together. you got to have some kind of background in sports and nutrition. Maybe you're a nutritionist and maybe you know a lot about sports, physical activities, you put them together. I will also say, so write about those things. Write about if you have a sore ankle, what kind of food you could take to relieve that pain. What kind of food you eat off season? What kind of food you eat during season? What kind of food you can eat? And, and do every sport. Just don't stick with one sport. I will go basketball, football, because a basketball player will eat different than a football player. A football player, like an offensive lineman, they'll be 300 plus pounds. They need to eat far as a wide receiver, they probably eat more, they lose more weight, eat less carbs. So you got to talk about all that in one. Also, I would talk about, I will also start a YouTube channel. I'll also do a YouTube channel and help promote the blog, do more sports, talk about your uh, your uh, achievements and nutrition and sports, or how you're an authority on the subject. And you never know. I mean, I, you always try. But make sure that you don't break, you, you you do all sports. Just don't do one sport because you're tied down to one. Um, I would do all the sports, baseball, basketball, football, soccer, tennis, swimming, Olympics. I would do all the sports and know all the nutrition because every sport and every player would have a different nutrition. You know what I'm saying? Everyone's body is different. And everybody has different injuries and everybody's diet is different during the season versus off season. So all that is very important too. So I will do something like that. Uh, as you see here, um, first thing I would say, get a hosting plan. The second thing you do, I will t teach the, what, you know, what, or what are you going to teach about a certain sport? Um, I will talk about all the sports. It gives you more content. It gives you more, it gives you, more, gives you a broader term. You want to be boxed in. You can only talk about basketball, but you have all this knowledge on football. So when you first come out, make sure you plan. Make sure you know how many posts you're going to do per week. You start a YouTube channel. I will start a Facebook fan page. I will start an Instagram. We connect to the blog, and I will do it that way. I will take my time with it. I will do some, some research, 
and and make sure you know what you're talking about because people can point out the BS. So that's it in the video. Please like, subscribe, comment on this video, and I'll see you next time.